Hi, my name is Beverly Banks. I am one of the producers and the writer for Ancient Secrets of Essential Oils. Our goal is to actually spread education about essential oils everywhere. And that is why I actually wanted to talk with you about basil essential oil. Uh, basil essential oil is really quite simple. Um, because it's found in a lot of American and Italian cooking, it's actually an oil or at least an herb that people will be very familiar with. And so when it comes to the difference between using a dried herb such as dried basil versus an essential oil, especially when you're cooking, the biggest difference between the two is, is that when you are putting a dried herb such as basil leaf into something that you're cooking, you're going to add those dried herbs right at the beginning. And the reason that you do that is because throughout the cooking process, it will actually take that dried herb and extract the essential oil from it, which will eventually flavor your food. Now, when you are using an essential oil, first of all, you've got to make sure that it's a food grade essential oil. So you're looking for a very high quality essential oil. It actually needs to say on the label that it's safe for consumption in order for you to know that it's safe to put in your food. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to make your sauce or your dressing, and you're going to take just a little bit of the essential oil. So one of the things that I do is I'll actually take a drop and I'll put it onto a spoon, and then I'll use a toothpick and actually dip the toothpick into that drop and stir it around in the sauce and taste the sauce and you're actually going to do this at the end of the cooking process which is a little bit different than how you would use dried basil in the beginning of the cooking process so a little bit of fun with basil is that it actually comes from the word basileum which was the greek word for king so kings and royalty actually had basil then it wasn't very well known although of course in italy where it grew on the side of hills and tends to do so today, it's really good to put into cooking. Now, what's great about basil is that it does support healthy digestion. So when it goes into something that's really heavy, like a tomato sauce, when you use the essential oil as opposed to just a flavoring or a dried herb, you're going to get the additional um, benefits for supporting a healthy digestion. Um, basil is also very soothing to the skin in the long term. When you just drop it onto your skin, it can tend to be a little hot, so you'll want to dilute it. But after you put it on, um, if you dilute it with the carrier oil, it will be quite soothing to, um, to your skin and to your muscles. And something else fun about basil is that historically Italian women would actually wear it to attract men. It was used as a perfume in Italy. Not something I would necessarily try today, but still fun. So basil is actually very supportive for healthy teeth and healthy gums. It's a great essential oil for adding to your daily tooth regimen. So if you take just one drop of essential oil and mix it in with your toothpaste or powder, whatever you like to use to clean your teeth with, you can also add a couple of drops to your mouthwash. And it's really good. Um, it, it's nice and refreshing for your mouth. It's really good to support your healthy teeth and healthy gums um, and it can be soothing as well especially if you have a cavity or if you have a toothache or if you have some occasional irritation in your gums basil essential oil can actually be very soothing to that area so i recommend either using it daily or if you need to soothe some occasional discomfort you can put it in your mouthwash rinse through your mouth and actually hold it in your mouth for just a few seconds to Third, uh, you know, 30 to 60 seconds before actually spitting it out. So that's a, a great way to use basil essential oil. Let's keep watching for more essential oils education. Black pepper was actually found in the nostrils and the abdomen of Ramses II when they uncovered his tomb. This has led scientists to believe that black pepper has actually played a large role in ancient Egypt religious practices and in their culture as a whole.
When the Gothic tribes of Europe invaded Rome in 410 AD, one of the things that they actually asked for was 3,000 pounds of black pepper. It was an incredibly valuable oil, and people traveled very far to actually get it. As a matter of fact, black pepper was considered one of the ways you could tell how much value a kingdom had in it was to actually count how many pounds of black pepper that kingdom had. Black pepper itself is very stimulating, invigorating, and empowering. Because it's so energizing, it was thought to be very powerful in ancient times, but also today it still has those very same qualities. In many foods and in many recipes, black pepper is pretty much never absent, especially when you're talking about meat or sauces. We really enjoy its flavor, even today, even though we may not realize just how invigorating it is. Black pepper gives a great boost to your immune system. If you experience occasional discomfort in your throat or a little bit of scratchiness, it's actually thought that you can add a couple of extra drops of black pepper to your food that day in the form of a soup or even in tea or coffee to really help kick your immune system up and support your healthy immune system to get you through the day. One of the people that I had the joy to meet while researching for Ancient Secrets of Essential Oil was a man who lived in Florida who was a chemical engineer for one of the top pharmaceutical companies in the country. He was a little skeptical about essential oils for at first, but while he was driving, he actually decided to take a bottle of black pepper essential oil, open the cap and smell it while he was contemplating a few things. Well, what happened was, is he ended up dropping the black pepper essential oil all over his lap. And when he got to where he was going, he walked in and luckily he was around friends because he said he just felt over the moon. The, the invigoration that the black pepper added to him, he could hardly believe. So he rushed back to his lab and he actually tested and looked at black pepper essential oil. And he said that it metabolized the same as a lot of well-known pharmaceuticals that are known to enhance your energy and are also known to give you cognitive focus. So that is a big plug for black pepper essential oil right there. Keep a lookout for more videos coming through Essential Oils Education. I am here to talk with you about cypress essential oil. Now, cypress is one of my favorites because I have a bias towards the ancient uh, essential oils, and cypress is definitely one of those. Now, in history, the Phoenicians used to carve their ships out of cypress because when you think of cypress, you should really think strength. Cypress is a very dense and a very strong wood. So Christians as well recognized the strength of cypress wood. The doors of St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican were actually carved from cypress wood and were said to have lasted more than 1,000 years. With cypress, when it is diffused or when it's inhaled, it is thought to bring a lot of emotional strength and support with it. During times when you need a lot of emotional grounding, it's a fantastic one to actually breathe in and get that scent of cypress wood right into your lungs. The strength that it brings with it is actually known throughout several religions, um, including being used in meditation and at spas as well. It's a very comforting essential oil. When taken internally, which you should only do when your label actually says that it is safe to take internally, it's thought to be a great immune system supporter. Again, bringing that strength to all over body support as well as specifically to your immune system. Now you wanna make sure that you follow the dosage that is recommended on the bottle. Typically that's about one to three drops depending upon the essential oil that you are holding. And a great way to do that is to actually just drop it right into about one ounce of water or so and breathe it in as you swallow it. You will get the emotional boosting from the scent as well as that immune system support right from the essential oil.
Cypress is actually an excellent essential oil to use in natural deodorants. You will find that a lot of natural based deodorants on the market will contain cypress um, as well. Cypress essential oil has been known to actually support healthy circulation as well. One of the ways that I love to use it is by mixing it with the carrier essential oil and rubbing it topically over the skin. This is really soothing to the skin and can also reduce the appearance of varicose veins. Please keep a lookout for other essential oil education videos.